Hi, this is Sam from Sam's Dream Themes. Um, I'm sorry if the quality of the audio is not the best for this tutorial. I did forget my microphone today, but I do have somebody who would really like to see how to use this backdrop. So here we go. Uh, so this backdrop is really simple to use and I'm actually going to throw in some actions which are going to make it super, super easy for you to use. The first thing we're going to do is get um, somebody's head to put in here. So I have this picture of a boy and I have already cut it out. If you're not sure how to cut, then you can go to uh, one of my other tutorials. Actually, I do have a tutorial just on cutting out with the pen tool. You can check that out. And if you would learn, like to learn how to edit things like the skin and the teeth and sharpening the eyes, uh, I do have a tutorial on that as well. And I will include a link with this uh, backdrop. So we've got this and it's all edited and ready to go. It is cut out. And I'm just going to take the rectangular marquee, select the boy's head, and press Command C, that'd be Control C on a PC. And I'm gonna go over here and Command V or Control V for PC people. And I'm gonna put it kind of where I would like it and grab the corner. And I'm gonna bring it just a little bit lower, like sort of like the chin is going to be coming just below that line and the head is going to be a little bit bigger. So I'm kind of thinking about where his head would be occupying some of this space. And then just that little bit of the chin as well will be covered. And that should be good. So I'll hit enter. And I'm gonna put a layer mask on and to, uh, take away some of the boy. I'm going to use a black brush. I'll make sure it's um, on soft, which it is, 100% opacity and flow. And I'll just take out some of this here. I'll paint that back in a minute. And I'll take off some of the hair here and again, I'll be painting some of that back in a second. Now this part here, I'll switch to a white brush. And I want to show this black line staying under here because that's actually the inside part of the helmet. So I'm going to leave that there. And if you take away too much of it, you can always go back and forth between your white brush and your black brush and fix those up. Okay. And then for the hair, I'm going to go back and add some, but I'm only going to add about 26%. I want some of this glass to be over top of his hair. And I'm just putting it back in little sections there. And that way it's going to give the effect of the glass being over top. And then at 26% still, I'll do a little bit of erasing over here to give the effect that the glass is going over top of him. And leaving that little bit of texture is going to do it. And I could make it gradual as well. You could do as much or as little as you want. And that does give more of that effect right there. So that's one thing we can do to add the effect. And you are welcome to save it at this point as a PSD file. Um, but for the next part where I want to blend his color in a little bit, um, I am going to do some flattening. So there we go. I'm happy with that. I could also do just the littlest bit down here over by his neck. 
um, that was a little too much. You could just soften up the neck so it looks like it's coming out of the shadows. And that is up to you, um, whether it kind of works for your image or not. I've done a lot of these for other people and uh, sometimes it seems to work and sometimes it doesn't just based on the image. But that is a little bit much. I don't mind it a little bit softer there, but not so soft. Okay, so save that and I'm going to go to layer, flatten once I'm happy with that part. The secret here is using the actions that I gave you. And so you're going to see, um, this is what it will look like to install the actions. You click this little button up here and you go to load actions. So um, I'm going to go to down here. There's one called moon dance and I'm going to run that. And you can see that it gives this whole, um, the whole picture sort of a purpley bluish tone. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click this. Invert and click OK. And because I've inverted it, now I can paint it back on my image. So add about 50% opacity, I'm going to paint it on this little guy. Probably a little more around the edges and on that neck. And the rest, I do want to leave some tones on his face so that um, he doesn't look too washed out. And then I will flatten that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my dodge and burn. Go to play down here. And then I'm going to go to white and using a white brush at 100% opacity and 5% flow, I'm going to start painting it on the lightest areas. And I want them to really brighten up quite a bit because this is outer space. It's going to give it a little bit more of a painterly and kind of a cartoony look. But when he's hiding behind the glass and the rest of it is quite painterly and a little bit cartoony, uh, it works. So usually a little bit just under the eyebrow, the nose especially to get it to pop out, usually just above the lip a little bit, the chin, the cheeks. And I am doing more of this than I normally would for dodging and burning because I want it to have that dramatic look. And then I'll go to paint it black. Same settings, 100% opacity, 5% flow. And now I'm going and painting this on the darker areas. And I could go around just where the hair is there and to give it a 3D look like the helmet is covering it, I can just do those little bits of hair there. I can burn a little bit around the neck. Usually the nostrils, just a little bit on the bottom of the lip to make it pop. I did forget the ears before. I'll probably go back in there with a the light as well. Yeah, and just anywhere that's in a little bit of shadow, I'm going to add a little bit more. And usually the sides of the face, but in this case, they're pretty good. I'll switch back up to the white and just do those ears.
and I could get a few hairs as well dodged out there. And that is pretty much perfect. I can flatten that image. And if, like, I look at it and I think, oh, I probably could have added a little bit more of the moon dance, so I could run that again. And I could reduce that opacity as well. And I could either invert it or I could just take a black brush and go over all of it and get rid of all of it except for his face. I think I will just invert again and hit OK. And then go in with a white brush, 100% flow, 50% opacity or so. And I could just go in and go once more over his face. And if I wanted, I could then dodge and burn again. But this little guy is ready to go and conquer outer space. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, please feel free to drop me a line either via uh, Etsy on Messenger or if you caught this through my website at samantha at samsdreamthemes.com.